Hi there, welcome to something of everything. In this video, we will learn how to create load cases in step two. So, as you know, in general tab load and definitions, there is a window called load and definition window. In definitions, you can create load definitions like wind load definitions, seismic load definitions, load load definition, etc. That we will learn in the later videos. In this video, we will learn how to create load cases. Okay, if you create, click on new. It will open the uniform universal window for creating new load cases, envelopes, etc. You can create the load cases from here also, or just click on load case details and press add. In this, you can see you can create primary load cases, you can generate the load combinations, you can define combinations, or you can auto create auto load combinations. In this video, we will see how to create primary load cases. Okay, let us learn. Let's say the first load case number is one. The load case type is dead, and the load case name is dead load. Okay, just press add. Next, the load is super dead load. You can say so. In which type you can put it? Okay, you can put it in the dead load itself. That says super dead. I prefer capital. Okay, then the live load. Live load. L L. There can be two types of live loads. Say live load less than or equal to three or live load more than three. Let's say live load less than three. Enter. The fourth case is live load greater than three. You will be in need of that less than and greater than kind of thing. Then the case is case comes for earthquake loadings. Let's say EQX. Just press enter and the load cases are being defined. And EQ instead it's EQZ. If you are using ETFs, it can be EQ, EQ1. And yeah, we forgot one thing. We didn't change the type. Let's change it to seismic and change. Just double click it, and you can edit it. Or just press it and edit, you can edit it. Okay. Now, seismic load cases needs to be the first one, followed by the dead and live loads. That is the rule. So, let's change the load case number. You cannot change it from here. You have to go to the input file. Okay. Just open the input file. wait for it to open one two three four five. it takes too much seconds right let's say uh, these are the load cases we have to take the equx and z to the top of the above okay first put it just change the numbers yeah you can always change everything most everything from input file and six so these are the load cases just close it new load cases are here now you can provide loadings in the load cases you have defined you will learn about load particular load giving on in the load cases in the later videos in the next video we will learn about how to create the load combinations okay thank you for watching us